This video is made possible by PCBWay. PCBWay is a professional PCB prototype and fabrication company who offers standard PCBs up to 14 layers, advanced PCBs up to 30 layers, flexible and rigid flex PCBs, PCB assembly and SMD stencils. Welcome back. In a previous video I showed you how to program the AVRDA chips by microchip. But then I realized not everyone has a PICKIT 4 and wants to use MPLAB X. So today I'm going to show you how to program these new chips with a 4.7K resistor, a 10 microfarad capacitor and an Arduino Nano. Now the first thing you have to do is go to GitHub and download the JTAG to UPDI sketch by Altangus. And once you have extracted that in your Arduino sketchbook folder, go ahead and rename the source folder into JTAG to UPDI. And once in that folder, you open the JTAG to UPDI sketch. Now this will present you with an empty sketch, but don't worry. All the code you need is in all the other files that are also opened. Now the next step is to connect the Arduino Nano to your computer. Then under tools select the Nano, the correct processor, select the port and then select the programmer and select the AVR ISP Mark II and go ahead and upload the sketch. And when that's done, go ahead and unplug the board and grab a breadboard. Put the Arduino in the breadboard and grab the capacitor and put it between reset and ground and make sure you have the correct polarity. The negative lead of the capacitor goes to ground and the other one goes to reset. Now go ahead and grab your 4.7K resistor and put that between D6 and an empty row of pins on your breadboard. And let's grab the AVR chip. Now connect 5 volts to VCC and connect ground to ground and UPI goes to the resistor. Now the next thing we have to do is go to GitHub again. This time go to github.com slash spenskonde slash dxcore and click on installation and copy the link to the board manager URL. Back in Arduino go to preferences and where it says additional board manager URLs click on the little window and add a new line and paste the link you just copied. Hit OK and hit OK and now on the tools go to board and boards manager and then search for the DX core and install the latest version. Now you can write the most complicated sketch you can think of. Now before you can upload your sketch to the AVRDA you have to burn a bootloader so under tools and board select the board you are using and do the same for chip and then you can leave everything else as default just make sure you select the right USB to serial port and as a programmer select JTAG to UPDI and go ahead and burn the bootloader. After that all you have to do is upload your sketch 
and enjoy your blink sketch. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I also hope this is useful. If so, leave a comment, leave a like and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.